Hello students, in this video we'll discuss geometric random variables. A random variable x, which maps a sample space into R, is geometric with parameter p if its probability mass function has the form p of n, which is the probability that x is equal to n, is p times 1 minus p to the n minus 1. For n equals 1, 2, 3, etc. And of course, we can check to see that this actually is a valid probability density function. So if I sum up all these values over here, we should get 1. So if we sum n goes from 1 to infinity, p, and then 1 minus p to the n minus 1, what we have over here is we have a p and then the sum. I'll shift the index over. I'll subtract 1 over here, and I'll add 1 over here. So this will be n goes from 0 to infinity of 1 minus p to the power n. So what this gives me is this gives me p, and then this is a geometric progression. So I'll get 1 over 1 minus 1 minus p. And so what this is, this is just p over p, and it's equal to 1. So indeed, this is a valid probability mass function. So typically what these geometric random variables model, so these model, these random variables, model a sequence of experiments with first success at a certain time. So for example, if x is the first time appearance of heads on flips of a coin, then x is geometric. And so if we want to compute the mean of this geometric random variable, so let's find the expected value of this x. So if x is geometric with parameter p, then the expected value of x, or its mean, is going to be the sum. We'll go k goes from 1 to infinity of k times p, and then 1 minus p to the k minus 1. And so what we can do now is we can observe that I can take this p out of the summation. So this will be p, and then we'll have the sum. k goes from 1 to infinity. And then I have this k times 1 minus p to the k minus 1. What that is is that's the derivative with respect to p. The negative sign of 1 minus p to the power k. And so we'll pull this derivative out of the sum. So this will be negative p d by dp of the sum. k goes from 1 to infinity of 1 minus p to the power k. 1 minus p to the power k. And what this sum is over here is this is going to be negative p. And then the derivative with respect to p of 1 minus p over 1 minus 1 over p, because it's a geometric series. And so what this simplifies to is this is negative p, and then times the derivative with respect to p of 1 minus p over, the bottom is just going to be p. And so of course, negative p over p is 1. That derivative is 0. The derivative of 1 over p is negative 1 over p squared. So this is negative p times negative 1 over p squared. And so the mean of this geometric random variable is just going to be 1 over p. So the mean of a 
of a geometric random variable is 1 over p. Thank you very much.